Hi, welcome students. We are going to start our first lesson, knowing our knowing our numbers. Okay, this is our first chapter. That is knowing our numbers. We know that the counting numbers are. Which are counting numbers? Counting numbers are one, two, three, etc. are known as counting numbers. Among these numbers, which is the smallest, smallest one digit number? Which is the smallest one digit number? It is one. Okay. Which is the biggest one digit number? Biggest one digit number. It is Nine. Okay. The smallest one digit number is 1 and the biggest one digit number is 9. Which is the smallest two digit number? Which is the smallest two digit number? It is 10. And the biggest two digit number is 99. Is it? The smallest two digit number is 10 and the biggest two digit number is 99. Then which is the smallest four digit number? Which is the smallest four digit number? It is 1000. Is it? The smallest four digit number is 1000. And which is the biggest four digit number? Biggest four digit number is? Nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. Okay, and this number goes on like this. Okay, this number is goes on like this. Students, please listen. Don't write anything from this note. I will send you uh, the notes for writing. Okay, I will send after this class. I will send you some notes for writing. Don't write anything from this note. Okay. Next, we are going to study what do you mean by predecessor and predecessor and successor of a number. I think all of you know what do you mean by predecessor. What do you mean by predecessor? The number just, uh, just before a given number. The number that comes just before a number. One number the total mumbil or number nana number in the barane. They are called as predecessor. A number that um, comes just before a number is called predecessor. Anganane successor nor nenda, the number comes just after a number. Okay, a number comes just after a number is called as successor. Okay, predecessor means the number comes just before a number, and the successor means the number just comes after a number is called as successor. Okay, that means predecessor and successor, we all already know that the number comes just before a number is called as predecessor and successor means a number that comes just after a number. Next we are going to write the biggest and the smallest number using given numbers. Okay. Biggest and biggest and smallest number using given digits okay first one is 9 4 7 1 we know that how we, we can find the smallest number using these given digits 9 4 7 1 which is the smallest number among these uh, numbers 1 is the smallest one and which is the next number 4. Which is the next number 7. And which is the last number 9. 1479. That is 1479 is the smallest number using 9471. Listen. Don't put commas in between all these numbers. 
put commas according to their place values only. Okay. That is 1479 is the smallest four digit number using this number. And which is the biggest number? Biggest number that is 9 is the biggest number. And 7, 4, 1 that is 9741. Listen carefully. Don't put commas in between all these numbers. Only put commas according to their place values. Okay. Then the next number. Second one. 5, 4, 0, 3. Which is the smallest number? 0 is the smallest number. But we will not write 0 first because there is no value for 0. Okay. So we write 3 here. After that 3 you write 0. Okay. Then 4, 5. 3045 is the smallest number using 5403. But the greatest number is 5430. Understand? This is the smallest four digit number using this number and this is the biggest four digit number using this number. Understand? Next, we are going to write the biggest and the smallest number using repeating one digit twice. Okay. One digit matra dand provision repeat either on the number where every number eightambua. That is biggest standard. Biggest standard. Smallest number. Using any one digit twice. This number is the biggest and the smallest number. That's the number of four digit number. We are going to write first the four digit number. Okay. Then the number of 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 the number we are going to write the smallest number first and the biggest number second. We want to find a four-digit number. Smallest four-digit number. First we are going to write. So, which is the smallest number among these numbers? 3 is the smallest number. Okay? 3 is the smallest number. Repeat once more 3 here. 3 is the one digit twice. We have to repeat the one number twice. So, smallest number is the smallest number. That means 3 repeat once. Okay? That is 3, 3 first. Then after that 7, 8. That is 3378. The site of the number is the number of the number of the number of the number the number of the number of the is the number the number of the number of the number the number of the number of the number that is 8873. This is the uh, biggest four digit number. Okay. Here is the next one. That is 905. 905. Among these numbers, we are going to now write the smallest number. Which is the smallest number among these numbers? 0 is the smallest number. We will not write 0 first. Because it has no value. So you write the second digit. That is second smallest digit. Uh, biggest digit is 5 here. 5. Okay. Then you write 0. Once again use 0. Because 0 is the smallest among these numbers. And the last is 9. This is the smallest 4 digit number among these numbers. And the biggest 4 digit number is first you write 9. Then you write again 9. Okay. Then 5, 0. This is the biggest four-digit number. Understand? 
first you write 9 then you repeat 9 once more and 5 0 this is the uh, biggest four digit number using 9 0 5 okay next we are going to arrange arrange the given numbers arrange the given numbers in ascending order arrange the given numbers in ascending order i think all of you know how to arrange in ascending order what do you mean by ascending order arrange the numbers from smallest to biggest that is first you arrange the small uh, smallest number then the biggest then the biggest like that you arrange the numbers are called as ascending order okay first example for that Two eight nine three four four three nine two eight three four eight two nine and eight nine two four three. First, consider how many digits are there in each number. How many digits are there? Here it is five digit. Here it is another five digit. Here also five digit, and here also five digit. So the uh, first you. Check among these five digits which is the smallest tenth place. Which is the smallest tenth place. This two is the smallest one. Okay. First, so first you write two. That is two eight nine three four is the smallest number. This number is already completed. Less than. Then which is the next smallest tenth place? Three. That is three four eight two nine less than which is the next one here four three nine two eight less than eight nine two four three understand okay Next, we are going to arrange the numbers in descending order. Descending order means what? Arrange the numbers from biggest to smallest. Okay. Arrange the numbers from biggest to smallest. Descending order. First one. That is 18503, 25192. 15219298512951 okay these all are again five digit numbers understand these all are again five digit numbers okay among these five digit numbers that is 10th ones 10th 100,000 10,000 places all of the number have 10,000 places among these 10,000 places which is the biggest one 1 2 1 2 these two are the biggest one okay Two. but these two are same so you take the thousand place of these numbers here it is five and here it is nine among these numbers nine is the biggest okay so you write two nine eight five one is greater than this descending order so you write greater than two five one nine two these two numbers are completed then you take the one at the thousand place sorry ten thousand place here these two numbers are same ten thousand place are same so you take the thousand place that is here it is eight and here it is five among these two numbers eight is the biggest one so you write one eight five zero three greater than one five two one nine understand the ascending order is ascending order means Arrange the numbers from, ascending order means, arrange the numbers from smallest to the biggest. Okay. First you write the smallest one. Like that you go on. And in the descending order it is, you arrange the numbers from biggest to smallest. Okay. Next. Number names. And they are expanded form. We are going to study about the number names and their expanded form okay 
next one we are going to study the number names and they are expanded form number names and they are expanded form okay the first number 2 9 4 8 5 this is the number Arrange this in place value first. That is 2, 9, 4, 8, 5. Ones place. 5 is in the ones place. 8 is in the tens place. 4 is in the hundreds place. 9 is in the thousand place. And 2 is in the ten thousand place. Understand? This hundred tens ones, we know that there is one spirit is completed. So you put one zero here. The number name is 29,485. Okay, this is the number name of this number. First, we arrange 29485 as place values that is 5 is in the ones place 8 is in the tens place 4 is in the hundreds place 9 is in the thousand place and 2 is in the 10,000 place 1000 and 10,000 is in the thousand period so you write 29,000 okay 400 485 okay now we are going to write the expanded form of this number we are going to write the expanded form of 29,485. Okay. 29,000. That is 2 is in 10,000 place here. That is 2 is in the 10,000 place. So, we are going to write 20,000. And 9 is in the 1,000 place. That is 9,000 plus 400. And 8 tenths. That is 80 plus 5. Okay. The next number is, this is the first number and the second number is 4, 5, 7, 9, 2, 8. We are going to write the number name of this number. For that, you arrange 4, 5, 7, 9, 2, 8 using place values. 8 is in the ones place. 2 is in the tens place, 9 is in the hundreds place, okay? And this period is completed. 7 is in the thousand place, 5 is in the 10,000 place and 4 is in the lakh place, okay? Once more listen, 8 is in the ones period, ones place, 2 is in the tens place, 9 is in the hundreds place, 7 is in the thousand place, 5 is in the 10,000 place and 4 is in the lakh place. That is 100 tens once that period completed, that is one spirit completed, 1000, 10,000, it is 1000 period also completed and 4 is in the lakh place. The number name of this number is 4 lakh. 57. This number is 557,000. 57,000. 57,000. 900. 900. And 28. Okay. And 28. Listen once more. 4 lakh. This is 4 lakh. 57,000, 4 lakh, 57,928 is the number name of this number. Now, we are going to write the expanded form of this number. How will you write the expanded form of this number? 4 lakh, that means after 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros you have to write. That is 4 lakh plus after 5, you write how many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4. That is 50,000 plus 7,000 plus 9,000.
100 plus 20 plus 8. Okay. Like this, we are going to write the number names and the expanded form of given numbers. Okay. The third number is... Arrange this number in place values. That is 5, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. We are going to arrange the place values here. Here is the 1's place. This is the 10's place. This is the 100's place. This is in the 1000th place. This is in the 10,000th place. This is lakh place and this is in the 10 lakh place. Okay. So, this is lakh period. This together comes in the lakh period. These two numbers comes in the thousand period and these three comes in the one period. So, 50 lakh is the number name of this number. Okay. 50 lakh is the number name of this number. We are going to write the expanded form also this that is 50 0 0 0 0 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 okay 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay this is the expanded form of this number okay students now i will give you the notes separately you should write that in a uh, book neatly if you want to write these notes in your notebook please write very neatly okay and I, and also i am giving you some homework also try to do that homework yourself Understand? Don't write anything from this session. I will say I will send you the note correctly after this class. Okay.